All right, well, I shot this photo of a bunch of uh, ducks flying in a flock, and I thought it was an interesting pattern. I was kind of seeing a word develop in this randomness. I'm kind of seeing that uh, maybe the word love could be spelled out here, and I thought it was kind of an interesting arrangement to capture. So I sent it over to Photoshop to see if something could be done. So I started working with the Content Aware Move tool. And when I first tried this, the problem was when I had a bird from a blue part of the picture and brought it into a part that had some whiter clouds, it created a real, you know, obvious contrast. So, for example, the thing that ended up saving me on this was the structure and color, probably mostly the color. Uh, when I started, they were turned way down. So I'll kind of give you an idea of what it was doing. If I were to select these birds and then drag them over here and let them go, you can see there's a real obvious blue from the sky. It's obvious that they were placed in there. So uh, that doesn't really do me any good. So I'm going to back up and try that again. And this time I'm going to alter the settings. So the structure I'll bring up to, well, let me try five or six. And it was working well at around five, but I'm going to try dropping it down to maybe about four and, uh, and see how that will look. I need to see more of my picture again. Um, this time I'll just try a single bird over here. And I'll drop it down in that spot. And now I'm not noticing any blue there. So we'll zoom in and see. And it looks like it did a pretty good job of putting it in. I'm not seeing any weirdness. Uh, there's a little bit of haloing around the bird, but that's from sharpening. That's around every bird, not not from the birds that I moved. All right. So at 100%, uh, that becomes less obvious. So it's a simple little technique. It can be very useful anytime you need to move something in your image. And um, hopefully it'll allow me to create an interesting little bird pattern here. So give that a try and see what you think. Well, here's sort of the final image, but I thought it looked a little bit dull. It lacked a little punch. So I decided to try converting it into a black and white and then adding some more contrast to uh, make the birds darker. So as I'm turning on these layers, you're seeing those effects. And then I said, well, let's try some textures on top of them. And so I added some texture files and I think this is what I'm going to call the final image and so it was an interesting little Photoshop project and um, I hope you found that interesting